In this demo, I want to show you how to use the waveform monitor in vScope signals. Now over here on this clip, we have a simple gradient which fades from white to black. And I can adjust the gradient to make it, uh, you know, less white, more gray, or I can bring up the black side and, you know, bring it up and make some adjustments. Now let's see what a waveform monitor shows us about the video. So we just drag vScope signals over on top of this clip and voila, we have this big line going from uh, the white side of the video down to the, uh, the dark side. And when we make an adjustment to the white side, we can see the line moves up and down. And when we make an adjustment to the black side, we can see that the uh, line moves up and down. And so all we're doing here is uh, making the video brighter or darker on one side uh, as we make these adjustments. And what the waveform monitor is tracking is it's tracking the brightness of the video with this line. So as we bring up the right side, the line starts to flatten out. Or if we bring down the, uh, the other side, the, the line tilts in the other direction. And this is just simply what a waveform monitor does. It just shows you how bright the video is from one side of the screen to the other. And it just plots uh, a line or various lines across the video. Now, how is that useful? Well, over here, we have this clip which is definitely too dark. And uh, we want to make it brighter. So we're going to take the three-way color correction over here, a uh, filter that's built into Final Cut Pro. And we're just dragging onto the clip. And then we're going to drag on our uh, vScope signals uh, waveform monitor right on top of it. And boom, we can see that uh, we've got some lines developing here. And uh, we need to know a, little bit, know a little bit more about it, so let's bring the clip up. And uh, let's take a look at the weighting. See, so yeah, there's a weighting adjustment here in, uh, in vScope signals, which allows me to change the weighting. And what I want to do with this is I want to figure out what part of this is the actual face. This is, I want to make the face brighter, but I don't want to, re, you know, destroy the rest of the video. I don't want to make the video look washed out. So I want to figure out what part of this, this actual waveform monitor is the face. So I switch it from weighted mode into colorized. In colorized, I can see what part is the flesh tones and what part are the other colors of the video. And it looks like the flesh tones are right in here in this really dark region. So I bring up my color correction filter and I start. I could start out by just simply adjusting the, the highlights, but that seems to clip right over here, these white parts. See how the white parts disappear? And uh, we lose all kinds of information that would make the video washed out. Or I could take the mid part and again, we're crushing a little bit too much of the video. The rest of it becomes too, uh, too bright or and too washed out looking. So what we want to do is take the blacks and just boost the blacks a little bit, uh, get them up around the 40% line because that's about where flesh tones should be. And if I want, I can also adjust down the highlights so I don't lose so much detail over there. Uh, so let's take a look at what that looks like now if we take the waveform monitor off. And there we go, we got a pretty good video, a little bit on the washed out side, so we might wanna make some adjustments here and there. But we can, uh, we can pretty much say that this is a good color correction based upon what we're seeing with the, with the overlay scopes. We can switch it back to weighted mode. And uh, there we go, we can, see, uh, we can see that the flesh tones now are nice and above uh, 40%, uh, which is what we want, but uh, we don't, we're not losing too much in the whites. And that's a simple demo on how to use the waveform monitor in vScope signals.